I wanted to thank you for an expression I have not heard before, which I'm going to now use, the government's environmental denial. I thought that, lo I love that. I'm going to plagiarize it from now on. <laughs> your, your, the point you talked about, about economic, your third recommendation, which you didn't have a chance to, I want to invite you to elaborate, but it was a talk about economic transition to a decarbonize, a, a, a world without carbon. Mr. Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, just a couple of weeks ago at a World Bank uh, meeting, says, quote, the vast majority of oil and gas reserves are unburnable, close quote, because if we're going to commit to a global temperature rise of less than two degrees, that's inevitable. And I think the, you, you were getting at something to, to the same effect, I think, with the carbon bubble analysis that he's and so many others have used. Have I got that right? Do you want me to uh, comment? Yeah, yes. Actually, yeah. The, the, Getting back to the gold mine um, picture, the problem is not the gold in, in the soil. The problem is we're running out of atmosphere to, to throw it into. Um, and maybe in Canada we're denying this, and that's fine and that's okay, but elsewhere in the world that's a fact. It's taken as a scientific and ba basic fact. So most advanced economies are trying to find ways to move out of carbon-based energy without thinking that they can live in a world without oil. I mean, everybody's realistic. We're going to need oil and gas, but maybe a lot less. Um, and then things like... Tra transport infrastructure projects are occasions where we could diversify our economy and where we could start to move away from this carbon dependency. Um, and I'll give you one small example coming from Southern Very Ontario. Briefly. I see we have somebody. Briefly. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a small business that, that my dad owns that does hydraulics and robotics. The hydraulic side is putting plows on, snow plows on, on machines that clear the 401. And he does okay. this in Canada. And he also does robotics for Bombardier, for the brake system for high-speed rail and monorails. He places, he fixes these and builds them all over the world, except in Canada, because Bombardier doesn't sell electrically based high-speed rail or monorails in Canada, because okay. Canada is not interested in this technology. Thank you. Thank you. So